Folks, traffic enforcement is a real thing, and in some ways it is totally unavoidable, but that doesn't mean it's not beatable. Our friends at Off the Record are, should be your first call if you get pulled over. There is an entire economic ecosystem based on traffic fines, court fees, insurance adjustments because you got a ticket, and all of that economic ecosystem is set up against you. Fight back. By pleading guilty, you're diving right in and you've automatically lost. Don't plead guilty. Our friends at Off the Record will set you up with a qualified attorney with an excellent track record almost anywhere in the country. Cover 97% of drivers in America that will help fight for you. Even if it's a charge that requires a court appearance, you don't have to go. They will go on your behalf. Meaning if you get a ticket in a state you don't live in, you don't have to travel back there to go to court. They'll do it for you. So go to offtherecord.com slash TST or download the Off The Record app and use code TST10 in the Off The Record app. We're giving you 10% off all legal services booked through Off The Record until 2024. If you download the app, you have it on your phone, you don't even have to make a call. You just take a photo of the ticket and it goes straight to the lawyer that can help you the most. That way, if you get pulled over, you're not panicking. You know you have an advocate on your side that's going to help get those points off of your record and help you exit from this economic ecosystem when you were just trying to get to work or have a good time. Off the Record is the official Ticket fighting partner of the smoking tire. Hit the link in the description and get it on your phone now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 Audi S8. Uh, the last time I drove the all new S8, uh, and this is a facelifted one, it was a very popular video. It seems that you guys uh, and gals really like the Audi S8. And uh, driving this one for the first time in, in quite a few years, you're right. You should like it. This thing is cool as hell. Uh, the new S8 features the 4-liter twin-turbo uh, V8 that you've seen in, in other Audis, uh, paired with a 48-volt mild hybrid system. Uh, in this trim, it makes 563 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, uh, and that's with 5,200 pounds to move around. Despite that weight, um, Audi says this thing will do 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Car and driver tested it at 3.2 seconds, so somebody is a sandbagging a little bit. 3.2 seconds uh, for a, a gasoline-powered uh, eight-speed gearbox, uh, luxury, long wheelbase sedan, because the A8 and S8 are only available in long wheelbase now. Um, that's fast. Um, and then Audi is also saying that this is going to be one of the most dynamic offerings in the class as well, thanks to a very trick suspension setup that I'll talk about in a second, as well as the liberal use of rear wheel steer, which gives this thing the same turning radius as the A4. And as we go through the curves, uh, you really can feel the rear steer working for you. Um, for 2022, Audi has dropped the A8 V8. So you can either get the A8 with the Turbo 6, um, 3 liter Turbo 6, or the S8 uh, with this uh, V8. Sport differential is standard. That's a torque vectoring, not a brake vectoring, a proper torque vectoring uh, uh, differential, uh, which can overdrive the outside wheels um, in, 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 the, in the rear. And uh, paired with this incredible air suspension that features an electromechanical option, not option, a feature as well, uh, it uses the 48 volt mild hybrid system to actively lean the car into corners as well as to pop it up uh, on occasion. Some of those occasions could be when you open the door handle. 
uh, from the inside or the outside, the car pops up two inches to give you a more crossover-like ingress and egress. That's pretty cool. It also has sensors in the front that read the road ahead, and if they detect a bump, it can pop it up then. Uh, it's got sensors on the sides, and if it detects a collision, it can pop it up then and, and, and direct that impending collision to a stronger bit of the crash structure. It's a very neat use of this technology, and you can feel that working in the corners as well. So enough sitting here, let's go for a drive. The, the driving position is amazing. The massage seats are highly adjustable, lots of options, and you want those. The seat is great, except for, I wish I could, I have really long legs, so I sit pretty far back, but I have short arms. And so I wish the steering wheel came an inch closer to me. It's maxed out, but that's okay. That's a small little, small little thing. We're gonna put our drive select mode into dynamic. And I am not quite familiar with this road. This is the first time I've ever been on it. So I am going to be a good citizen and not drive at a pace that I would drive on my, my home roads. We're gonna be, we're, we're, it's still gonna be good. You're still gonna get the vibe, but it's just gonna be a little bit, a little bit more conservative because I don't know every single corner. Here we go. shifters are very responsive. The 8-speed ZF gearbox working its usual uh, magic here. See, even the very first corner, as I turn the wheel, so I can feel the long wheelbase in the ride. The ride is beautiful. This thing glides like a cloud. It's really, really fantastic. And coming out of the series of sports cars I've driven, to get into a proper luxury super sedan uh, and feel what that kind of ride quality is, is like, oh, right. But then, as I uh, bend it into the corner, the more I turn the wheel, the more I can feel that rear steer shrinking the virtual wheelbase, as it were, right? It can turn uh, counter steer the rear tires to seemingly shrink that wheelbase. And then of course, as rear steer does, when I'm going fast on the highway, it can turn those rear wheels in the same direction to seemingly lengthen the wheelbase for stability. This thing makes a really nice sound. Uh, you don't hear a lot of it in the car, but it's got just enough throatiness to remind you that you're in a sport sedan. <laughs> because the ride quality is so good, because you have such an isolated experience in the cabin, it's very, very easy to not realize, oh my God, I'm going 90 or 100 miles an hour in, you know, a 35 zone. The, the, the pace, the speed is pretty extraordinary. Uh, and when you combine it with the technology, with the handling, it makes for an experience that lets you cover ground at an astonishing pace. And I don't want to follow a Tahoe, so I will find the first available place to turn around. In comfort mode, it is absolutely brilliantly isolating. I mean, you want to talk about a car, here's the, look at the turning radius. It is, the turning radius is so tight, and I'm just gonna, we'll just do a, uh, a little launchy launch, here we go, and go. Yeah, and then heavy into the brakes. Um, not fancy carbon ceramics, anything steel brakes, but very effective. Not that I'd wanna necessarily do a track day in this thing, but for hauling it down on a road like this repeatedly, not an issue. Uh, although there's not a ton of steering feel, the steering weight is nice, the directness is really nice. That's one of the first things I noticed about, about this thing is how sharp uh, the steering is for a, uh, for a, a big, long and, and heavy
heavy car. It's, but the, the standout, I mean, aside from the, the build quality, which is exceptional, I mean, this thing starts at 116 grand. It's not cheap, but compared to some of the competition from Mercedes, it's not bad. Um, it's certainly nicer than the last seven series I was in um, by some margin. You got Audi's virtual cockpit and all that, but aside from the quality of the interior, which is exceptional, um, the, the, I'm, I'm going to keep coming back to it, but the ride, the ride, the ride, the ride is so good. And when I was talking about the electromechanical suspension, this is in addition to the air suspension. So you've got your air spring that can adjust the height as well as the stiffness. And then the electromechanical thing is for your fast response, right? Because air suspension can't adjust fast. It takes time to increase and decrease those pressures, right? The electromechanical thing is constantly reading the road ahead, adjusting fast, but also adjusting to your every input. So as I turn into the corner, what Audi says in terms of the numbers are, your normal body roll would be like five degrees out, right? This reduces it to two degrees. So you're not actually leaning into the corner, but you're substantially reducing how much body roll is there. And I can feel it working right here uh, to keep the car loaded up flat. And although I'm by myself today and can't verify it, I'm told that the difference, the real difference with that system is when you're being driven, when you're in the back. In the back seat, uh, it makes for a much uh, smoother uh, and less nauseating experience, especially if you're the kind of person who would get car sick from riding in the back like my wife does. It would really help with, uh, with someone like that. But I wish I knew this road better. I would really be hustling on it because I don't. I'm taking it kind of easy. But for a big, long, and heavy sedan, I am not having a bad time here. This thing is really sure-footed, 21-inch uh, wheels, lots of grip. I'm not getting anywhere close to the limit of grip. Really nice to bend it into the corner. Really good power coming out of the corner. The brakes work really well. They feel good. They feel tight. Over a negative G uh, section right there. Still excellent. About this road too, huh? It's a good little road here. That 590 pounds of torque, you're really using that. You're not zigging this thing up to red line. You're using the, the meat the meat of the engine. Whee! Nice little negative G there. Oh, and we've caught a slow-moving Audi S8. Oh, we've got a truck. Well, there's more, right? There is more to this car. You've got those really cool laser headlights that because I'm driving in the middle of a bright sunny day, uh, we won't see, but they are there. They can do the little projector thing on the wall. They can uh, block out oncoming high beams. It's like millions of individual mini mirrors in there. Super, super cool stuff. You've also got the whole nightclub LED design that goes on in here, and maybe Audi can provide us some B-roll, because I won't see that in the middle of a bright California day. But ultimately, what I am really reminded of driving this car is that there is still a place for the luxury Q ship. And um, what Audi's done with this thing dynamically is very, very good. Very impressive. Uh, a lovely place to spend your time. Oh, are those my brakes? Look at that. My brakes are, uh, are smoking. How about that? Maybe I did work them harder. Maybe I need to cool the brakes. It didn't feel like they were uh, really working that hard. But I guess that's what technology does, right? Technology makes you feel like things are not working hard when maybe they are. And so I think we've just we've just learned that even though I had plenty of pedal pressure, even though I wasn't going pretty fast here, even though I didn't seem like I was working the car very hard, 
um, the brake pads seem to have disagreed with all that. And so they had gotten just a little bit smoky. <laughs> so, uh, despite that, that's for science. We got the brake pads smoky for science. It's amazing how I didn't feel any fade or any of that from the, uh, from the driver's seat here. That's purely, uh, <laughs> that's a pure science observation right there. Uh, all right. So thank you to Audi for having me out today. Maybe you should work the brakes a little less hard than I just did. Uh, if you plan on buying one of these, if it's a highway missile or, I mean, even better, you know, a chauffeured vehicle or something like that, this is a really, really nice car and it drives absolutely beautifully. It rides beautifully. And so thanks to you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Bye. And remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off The Record app available in the Android and iOS store or go to offtherecord.com slash TST.